All right, we're checking out the only game where you can feed your pet so much that it eventually eats all of humanity. It's Tasty Planet Forever. Say hello to our gray goo. It's 162 nanometers large. Whoa, okay. I was gonna say with its big googly eyes, it doesn't look that violent, but what in the world are these demonic jelly beans? <laughs> Please tell me those are eyes. They kind of look adorable. I almost want to hug them. They're probably like the strep virus or something. Right now, we're just eating bacterium. We haven't even gotten to the units of measurement that I understand, like, you know, centimeters or anything else that's not these kind of meters. I will say, though, we are growing up very, very quickly to the point where I may be eating these very, very, like, emotion-driven jelly beans of death. All right, come here, you little algae beans. Let me see what it tastes like. Oh, they're bacterium as well. I love how it shows a little picture of their dead body in the bottom left after you eat them. It's like, yeah, that's what you just ate. It has a pair of expressive eyes. Don't you feel like a monster? So yeah, we were developed by science. So I don't know if we're starting on in a Petri dish or what. It makes sense because everything around us is just bacteria that we're eating. It's like there's nothing here that's of of any usefulness. Well, I guess bacteria can be useful depending on what kind it is. We got like wormy bacteria over here. See, this bacteria down here is like dancing. I assume it's bacteria. It could also just be a really small representation of my hope for humanity. And I am just... Oh, here we go. Hold on. All right, what was that? Oh, it was another bacteria. It was just bigger. I'm eating all the bacteria. Maybe I'm cleaning up the planet. Maybe I'm actually helpful for once and I won't devour all life on Earth. Well, actually, I, I think that's probably a lie. I'll be devouring all life on Earth and probably all life in all of the different multiverses as well. What is that? I would say it's like a robot or a, it looks like a, it looks like a Danger Will Robinson robot from the 1970s, but at this size, I don't think it would be that. Is that a nano machine? Is this like a Metal Gear Insurgents thing going on? When I eat one of those, will I too finally get to say Nano Machine Sun? Not big enough to eat them yet. I've got to scarf down more of the things that should be murdering my digestive tract. Can I eat them now? I'm much larger. No, I still can't eat them. Oh, never mind. I can totally eat them. Oh, it's a nanobot. It is a nanobot. Oh, yeah. Oh, all the nano machines are coming with me. Does this mean I get to evolve my gray goo to like an android gray goo? You're like the T-1000 of gray goos. Actually, I guess that's what T-1000 was, technically. He was gray, and sometimes he was very gooey. I mean, wow. I was gonna say, I was starting to get pretty big until I noticed something that was like 80 times my size going past the screen. Looks like honeycombs over here. You guys taste like breakfast cereal? What even are you? And you have a giant dandelion just passing by up top. Oh, here we go, I get to eat it. It's pollen. All these nanobots are so small now. They, they, they're not fulfilling at all to eat. Instead, I have to chew on pollen, which I'm highly allergic to. So this is giving me some sort of repressed trauma right now. Oh, yeah. All the pollen. I can't wait. I'm gonna be taking allergy injections for the rest of my life. There we go. Still not even a centimeter. Get your micrometers out or whatever they are, because that's where we are at the moment. When do I get sized by planetary means? I want my volume to be counted in stars. Oh, hold on. Oh, I can eat whatever this is. It's larger pollen. The pollen is evolving and there's plenty of it. This is great. I'm taking everyone's allergies so you don't have, what is this? How come all of the creatures are so derpy? Oh, it's an amoeba. It's weird though, because it's kind of like an amoeba that I would I would give to my, my kid cousin or something like that as a plush doll. It looks so happy, except for the part where it was being eaten alive by me. Look at it, it's like, yay! That could also be the face of fear. Now that I think about it, it might not be happy. It may be screaming and begging for its life. That's the great part about this game. You never know. Is everything happy or is everything sad? Because you're going to be removing the place that it calls home. What is this? Is that a rock? Oh, it's, oh it is. It's a pebble. And water. I'm drinking all of the water in the planet, too. Also, I was totally wrong about the Petri dish. I'm chilling out on a leaf. What was that? What's shooting? What the? Are those ants with googly eyes and laser beams attached to their back? <laughs> Why? <laughs> 
<laughs> that doesn't make any sense. First off, who had the bright idea to strap a bunch of lasers to a bunch of ants in the first place? Everyone's like, oh, they keep missing. Yeah, because they're ants. What do you expect? Can I eat the rocks too? Yummy. Oh, you absolutely can. You can hear that my my gray goo is having the time of his life. I don't know what that is. It looks maybe something like a uh, like a neutron cell or something. Some sort of crazy power device of some sort. We have what must be solar panels. All right, drinking all the water. I just got shot in the butt. Oh, I'm, I'm eating big water now. Well, drinking, I guess. I call it eating because I kind of just devoured it. Can I eat these ants yet? Because they're annoying me. Yep. Cont what, wait, what was it called? Hold on a second. It's literally called a laser ant. Is this a new species of ant? Gotta watch out. That's uh, one of those Australian species of ants. Very common in Australia. Laser ants. Also, we're at a centimeter. How about that? All right, I've drank all the water. I have murdered all the ants and now I'm bigger. Now I can eat bigger rocks and probably whatever the power cells are. I still don't really know. More rocks. Oh, that is where I'm getting all my fiber from. These delicious rocks. I'm sure I'll have a good time passing all of these. I love how the ants just line up for me. Delicious. I don't get kidney stones. I eat kidney stones. Oh, it's a credit check. It is a fusion cell. I was gonna say. I don't think that batteries glow that unnatural green color. I'm eating credits, I'm eating fusion cells, I'm eating leaves. That's a normal thing for once. There's different things like, you know, laser ants. And is that a laser rat? Why does everything have lasers attached to it? It's like they just attach lasers to everything around here. What is that? Is that a Roomba? Is that an evil Roomba? I have to murder that Roomba? I have no idea. I'm gonna keep eating all of these fusion cells until I can eventually eat the laser rats. Oh, I can eat the laser rats. They really are laser rats. You guys couldn't call any of these laser animals something different? This laser rat. Am I gonna go through the entire food chain of animals with lasers strapped to them? I feel like I am. Am I gonna, are we gonna deal with a laser cat soon? Is that a brain? Just a brain on a tray. Are you, are you evil brains? Ow, did the brain eat me? The brain doesn't have a mouth. I don't know how that brain is taking a bite out of me, but I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna go Hannibal Lecter on you in a minute. Oh, I'm eating a, a ray gun. What is this, like a, it's like a tablet from, I don't know. It's like, it's like one of those tablets where they try and look like it's futuristic, but it's really just looks even older than it should be. Just eating nonstop ray guns. That's a solar panel, another ray gun. All right, can I eat the brain yet? No. Eat all these different rats. And this pad computer, they call it. Oh, I can eat a human. Ah! It's not even a human, it's just called a humanoid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm murdering everything. Where's the brain? Here it is. Scientist brain jar. Did that scientist want to be in that brain jar? Or did he, did he score the lowest on the science test? What happened? I love how no one has any survival instinct. This guy's like, I'm gonna walk away really slowly from being devoured by a 69 centimeter gray goo thing. They're not even trying. It's like the Jason Voorhees of survival instincts. Just walk everywhere. Oh, I'm just chewing on people. Just, oh, it's a tank! Whoa, all right, now people are getting serious. I didn't think they would try and defend themselves. If I can get the tank to fire on a human, will it blow them up? Hold on, let me see. Yeah! The tank totally just blasts people. Uh, eating all of the hoverboards and the hoverboard errs. That's what you get for walking in the road. Pay attention to road signs. Oh, it's just a whole mess of hoverboards over here, why? weird. I have eaten so many people at this point. I'm gonna eat your foliage now. There we go. Birch tree. That's very specific. Welcome to deforestation 2.0. I'm your host. Ray still plays. Do you like oxygen? I hope not because it's all going into my stomach. You just ran over that car. I didn't kill him. You did. Oh, I can eat the cars now. Hover cars. Just part of a balanced breakfast. Yes! I am three meters now. Now we're starting to gain size. 
very quickly, I can see that we're going to be leaving this planet in fairly short order. Because I I don't know what these are. Are these shuttles or some sort of vehicle? I just don't know what kind. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Maple trees. All right. Oh, God. I did. I think I just ate a house. It's an entire house. Come here, hover tank. I don't have time for you anymore. Yeah, shuttle craft. All right. I think I just ate a school or something. Now no one has to study. Wow. At this point, I am just devouring entire neighborhoods in one go. Look at this. That's a city block right there. It is gone. You don't have to fight with your neighbor about property lines anymore. There are no property lines. I ate them all. What is this? Is it like a stadium? What is this? It's a building. Oh. Thought there was more to it than that. I can't even tell you how many people I've murdered at this point. It's a lot, though. Hold on. This is the biggest building. There we go. Is that the biggest building on the whole map so far that I've eaten? Oh, now we're in space. Now I'm literally eating asteroids. I'm saving the planet. See, this is just like deep impact, except instead of blowing up the asteroids before they hit Earth, I'm eating them. I'm absorbing their mass so that later I can be the one to destroy Earth. We are already at 150 meters. I'm sorry, I spoke too soon. 178 meters. Point is, we're gaining size very, very quickly now. 200 meters, and we're out, out of orbit at this point. Okay, so now I have to eat slightly. What is that? What is that? Kind of looks like a hubcap in space. I think it's supposed to be a space station, maybe. I'm also over 500 meters now. We're going to be going past a kilometer very quickly. I have cleaned space so well at this point. No one has to worry about all these anymore getting in the way when they go to Mars or whatnot because I've eaten everything. Yep, we're over a kilometer now. I am now bigger than the largest asteroid. I can eat all of them. And I can also eat this. What was that? Was that a space station? I didn't get to see it before. Before I ate it. Pretty sure it's a space station. Is that an alien? <laughs> That's funny. The, the humans have screwed up so bad that now aliens have taken note and they're like, oh God, we need to do something about this because the humans really messed up. They had every opportunity to save their own planet and they can't, they couldn't be trusted with it. So now we have to do something about it. I hate to tell you aliens, but I'm 16 kilometers at this point. I might be able to eat you. I absolutely can. I'm eating flying saucers. Now I'm chewing on the literal asteroid belt that is surrounding Earth. That's great. The flying saucers have gotten bigger now. They are, I guess, the mothership of flying saucers. 55 kilometers in size. 80 kilometers. 100 kilometers. Where are those saucers at? Can I eat them yet? Almost. I'm all, I'm like right there. Okay, there's a couple more down here. Still can't eat them. Can I eat the atmosphere? No. Oh, never mind. There's a whole nother asteroid belt up here that I didn't even know about. Come here. Oh, it's like eating a bunch of chicken nuggets. All right, where's the flying saucers at? You're not, you're not getting out of this. I remember you shooting at me. Here we go. Come here. Yeah, there we go. 187 kilometers. More chicken nuggets. Okay, so now we can literally see the rotation of the Earth. Also, we can see the moon. Can I, like, hit the moon out of orbit or anything? I was curious because you can start to move things if you notice. Like, I can kind of hit this asteroid and stop it from crashing into Earth. By the same token, though, I can also make asteroids crash into Earth, like that right there. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about it, but maybe I'm not supposed to because I'm going to be murdering everyone on Earth anyway. So showing remorse for the people that are going to die by my hand seems self-defeating. Also, by the way, I'm a megameter now. Megameter? Megometer? I don't know. This is a t this is like a, a level of size that I don't normally use. Need to get a car this size. Where's the moon at? All right. Oh, I can absolutely hit the moon now. That's awesome. I could just hip check the moon. Can I shove the moon into the earth? Hold on. I'm gonna try this. It does, but they don't really do. They don't really injure one another. It just kind of bounces off. Don't worry, Earth. You won't have to worry about the moon crashing into you anymore. <laughs> okay, so now I have to murder Earth. So fortunately, there just happens to be another asteroid belt just chilling out over here for me to to get way bigger on. What is what are you? Oh, you're Mars. Well, you were Mars. Now you're just a a chunk of meat in between my teeth. All right, Earth. I think that we're ready to meet again. Where are you? That looks like Mercury. Yep, that was Mercury. Are you Venus? Yep. I'm so much larger than the Earth right now. Like the Earth is valiant is is valiantly trying to escape. 
It's like I'm gonna be eaten by something that looks like it should be purchased inside of a mall store. Yep. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What other planets are left? Where's Jupiter at? I know Jupiter's around here somewhere. Okay, I need to get much, much bigger because there's some more planets, but they're fairly large. See that right there? See it trying to get away? I can't eat it yet. Oh, I can eat you though. You Neptune? Yep. Where's Uranus at? What about you? Are you Uranus? Absolutely are. Well, <laughs> Jupiter's done. <laughs> Where did Saturn go off to? Saturn figured out what was going on a while ago. It's like everyone knows me for my rings, so there's like no way to hide. So I need to get out of here ASAP. You can't run from me, Saturn! At this point, I'm pretty sure I have, uh, I've swallowed every single planet at this point. When there's no more solar system left. Oh, I get burned by the sun. I mean, it makes sense, but I'm gonna need to find other solar systems to sate my, my hunger. My hunger for flesh and rocks. It's like eating your vegetables. I don't wanna have to do it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a full, it's a star. A full fledged star. Oh, and they're different flavors too. This is like a banana star. Mm -hmm. You have your cherry stars. Then you have, can I eat this blue raspberry star? Not yet. But it's coming. Now I can probably eat it. Yeah, blue raspberry star. That is an astrological terminology, you understand. Where's the sun at? I've got some payback I need to give to the sun. There it is. Oh, just destroying galaxies. No big deal. Stars are not pausing much of a threat anymore. I need like bigger objects. Can I start eating galaxies yet? Like the entire galaxy. Oh. Oh, a red giant. Oh, yeah. All oh, the red giants. Delicious. I hope you're ready, Marvel. I'm coming into the multiverse and I'm not leaving anything undigested. I am now 1.95 astronomical units. Boom. Okay, so now we're, we're like zooming further out at this point. More stars. Super giants at this point, by the way. It's like a palate cleanser. Oh, is that a black hole? Ooh. The black hole is trying to out eat me, which means I get to eat the black hole. This is exciting. Hold on. See, everyone was gonna die anyway. I just kind of, uh, I sped up the process, all right? See, everyone's getting drawn into the black hole. Wouldn't you rather be drawn into me? There you go. Okay, I might be, I might be big enough now to chew on the black hole. What does the black hole taste like? It tastes like grapes. Black holes. Nebulas. I'm eating the literal nebula. I like how some of the nebulas are just spinning randomly. They're just like, take the wheel, because I got no idea what I'm doing. Kilo astro units. Okay. All of your nebulas are coming with me. There's bigger nebulas now. Want to start eating some wormholes or something. Some hyperdrives. I'm now a parsec in size. I love it. What do you see, star cluster? The star cluster is like the inside of your stomach. It's not really a gray goo. I'm just kind of a goo the color of whatever I eat at the time. I'm kind of like a, maybe like an eggshell goo. No star cluster is left behind. Ooh. Ah, uh, now you do get to eat the tips of the galaxy. Delicious. Galactic matter, as a matter of fact, they call it. Is this the cotton candy of the galaxy? Kiloparsecs, okay. What is at the center of the galaxy? Well, right now, it's gray still plays. Ah, galactic core. I'm eating galactic cores. We're hosting galactic keggers at this point. Spiral galaxies. Elliptical galaxies. All of the different geometrical galaxies are coming with me. There is no galaxy big enough to stop the gray goo. The screen isn't completely black though, so I have to keep, there's still other signs of life. I need to end that. Galaxy groups, gone. Galaxy clusters, dinner. Okay, now things are starting to get legitimately darker because it's running out of things. I'm eating super clusters now. Mega parsecs, oh yeah. Oh, it does. I was hoping eventually there would be less and less stuff on the screen. Like if you notice, there's no more stars or anything. There's just the super clusters. Oh yeah. Whoa, what is happening here? Oh, I am tripping on acid. 
Whoa! The fabric of the universe! Literal fabric! What tortoises? Uh, I'm gonna feel really bad eating those. Oh, turtle of time. Sorry. Turtle of time! Oh my god! <laughs> The turtles of time were peaceful entities with no way of defending themselves against the coming Goopocalypse. It was a tasty feast all the way down. That means we have a winner. Shark levels. I was once a simple shark, just basking in the glory of my sad shark. Did my shark just talk? It kind of sounded like my shark just talked. Now, as you can imagine, our job here is to slowly eat every living creature and probably most unliving things in the entire ocean until we're big enough to eventually eat a planet. Right now, we're eating various unmoving kind of sea life at the bottom of the ocean floor along with a bunch of delicious french fries. That's like the only thing I can think of when I see this name. Oh yeah, throw some ketchup on those. You can already see our shark is uh, kind of wide. You know, like his mouth is literally bigger than his entire body. Body. I love that I eat fries in the game the same way I eat fries in real life. You just eat them by the handful. Oh, I don't know if that tastes like strawberry or not. It really doesn't matter. I think that these fish originally were probably supposed to scare me. Although in the beginning, I guess I was only a, like a one centimeter shark. I was the smallest, most malnourished shark in all of the universe. Now I'm, well, pretty obese. But you would think with all the cardio I do, it means something 12.1 centimeters you know i used to sting myself on oh my god it's an entire otter just playing around right though oh i can jump out of here i can kind of give the otter a massage too don't worry otter i'll be ruining your entire existence in just a moment and yeetus see as we jump over to the other side of the ocean there is more stuff to eat over here why do i feel like i'm eventually going to be coming off the ground to attack a bunch of ducks just chilling out all right eat some more fries start eating some jelly Jellyfish. You may ask yourself, great, what do jellyfish taste like? Mostly just sadness. Oh, come here, duck. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, my god, I turned the I turned the otter over. <laughs> He's drowning. I've, I've got to fix him. Hold on. I think I just moved him off the entire board. I feel kind of bad about that. Well, I guess I technically saved his life because I think I'm eventually supposed to eat him. Now I can't eat him because he doesn't exist on the board anymore. Okay, well, we started off pretty strong there. I guess it makes sense because we started so small that we start to at least kick up some of the size. So now we're killing the Puget Sound King Crabs, which are delicious. Already at 34 four centimeters. We're still kind of sad shark size though. Although I would put us at bird eating shark at this point. It's kind of weird trying to eat all these crab because I kind of have to move through the bowels of all of this rocky area over here, but we're at uh, almost 50. There's 50 centimeters at this point. Just have to Tetris my way through here so I can continue to completely destroy the entire ecosystem that has built up on this planet. I can't even tell you how long it's going to be before you humans just can't even survive anymore. Like, you may think to yourself, what do jellyfish really do? I have a feeling they're probably important. That's why I'm going to eat them all. Like, these moon jellyfish aren't even hurting anyone. They're just kind of chilling out looking awesome. Meanwhile, I'm picking them up like spoonfuls of icing over here. Hey, any more birds? I want to get retribution for all the stuff the seagulls have done to me in my life. Right now, there's only a few jellyfish that I can even eat, because they're not big enough. I have to find the, the sad, unkept jellyfish to eat. Like this one or this one. That one was hiding behind his parent or something. <laughs> Feel kind of bad. I don't really know what the lifespan of a moon jelly is. I don't know like when you're a, a juvenile moon jelly, like a teenage moon jelly. I don't know if they don't listen to their parents and cross the street even though they're not supposed to. I have no idea. The rebellious moon jelly stages. Okay, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm going to be eating almost all ages of moon jellies. Fear me. Your moon jelly species won't exist on this planet much longer. Run. I don't think any of them know how to run. They're like, we're jellyfish. We're just kind of like, you know, caught in the current. We don't have a lot of choices here. Well, I feel extra bad for you because you can't even flee. It's kind of like eating an ear of corn. Like an ear of corn never tried to escape from the person trying to consume it. Maybe it wanted to, but we'll really never know. Okay, there, there is, at this point, I'm, I'm getting to the point where there are very few moon jellies that I cannot eat if I want to. In fact, I am just eating all of the moon jellies now. This is awful. Oh, there's no survivors. Oh, even the king 
pin moon jelly just got eaten. That was like the god moon jelly. It's like a super saiyan moon jelly and it died. Okay, I'm I'm starting in a very large area as a very small shark. So there should be some, there should be some decent growth here. Yeah, you think you can escape? There's no escape. I love it. So when the fish come out to go, you know, take a walk, that's when I basically eat them. They're going for a jog and they just get assaulted by a nine centimeter shark. Painted greenlings now stand no chance either. That's right, other fish. Just because I got smaller doesn't mean any of you got any stronger. Know your place. Yoink. Am I the king of the coral yet? Oh, I'm killing rockfish now. There is no one left in this entire area that is larger than my shark, but this still isn't large enough by any stretch of the imagination. I cannot consume even one single planet at this size. I'd even take a continent. I don't think that's asking for too much. Okay, now my world has opened up greatly. I am no longer... Okay. Well, that was that was basically like just complete fish annihilation. There's none left. There was a whole family of fish over here. Now they're all gone. Now I'm gonna eat all this sponge too. 1.3 meters. I am finally getting to be shark sized. Okay, so at this point we're starting at moon jelly, so that's good. We still have our rock fish that we can eat as well. We're at 25 centimeters, so we should be getting into a full meter fairly soon. Oh, I can already eat ducks. Oh, there's spear fishermen around here. Oh, they're trying to murder me. I'll remember this spear fishermen. Also, don't kill the otters. They're they're adorable. I mean, if I have to kill them, that's one thing. That's that's just because it's evolution, all right? It's not because I dislike the otters. It's because, oh, wow, there's like entire seals down here and stuff. That's just because that's what needs to happen for me to continue with the game. Oh, I can get geese now. Full geese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, not the geese. I like to think that geese are kind of adorable, but every time I've said hi to a goose, it's tried to kill me. Ge oh, no. Oh, the otters. Oh, no. All right, now I'm eating salmon, more otters, full geese. There's another otter. These fishermen are not going to last long in this world. It, it is not long until I am big enough to easily eat a fisherman. Well, they're not really fishing. They're just kind of spearing, and they're not exactly just spearing fish. They're just spearing anything. At this point, I'm 91 centimeters. Oh, I'm killing people. Did that say a fighting scuba diver? As in, like, fighting for their life? Or fighting because they're trying to, like, scuba dive and kill things? Or what? I like to think that they're fighting for their lives. I need more. Where are you guys at? You guys are worth a lot of points. That's an entire sea lion. One, I didn't even bite. I was gonna say one bite, but all I really did was swallow. Oh, no. Oh. Did I hear airplanes? Am I? Oh, there's it's entire boats. <laughs> all right. Thought I heard a, a maybe an airplane or something that I would be eating, which is probably fairly realistic. And there goes the sea lions. He's like other lesser sharks down here. Sharks that cannot get to my size. I think I saw a whale as well. You think that you can pollute my water? Just wait. Although I, I guess it really won't matter because like they're polluting the water, which could be killing all the fish. That's a six gill shark. I'm killing everything, so there really won't be anything left to pollute. So I'm not sure who's doing the worst thing. I feel like it's probably me because there's someone that could probably unpollute the water, whereas, you know, I'm just nonchalantly murdering everything. <laughs> I'm at three meters at this point. I feel really bad about this. It's just a log. It's just an entire log. I told you, living, unliving, it really doesn't matter. If you can fit in my mouth, you're going to get eaten. I'm going to end up eating all of the greenery surrounding the sea as well. Yeah, you, you're untouchable for right now, whale. Just you wait, though. I'm closing on on five meters. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are planes. Okay, more sharks. And now I can finally eat entire humpback whales. Small humpback whales. Not the humpback whales that don't skip leg day. Okay, now I'm, now I'm eating the humpback whales. Whether they do leg day or not, it really doesn't matter. You can hear their sad little whale sounds. That's whale for F you. I'm eating fighter jets. Well, I dunked the one fighter jet. I brought him into my lands just so I could kill him. 10 meters. Full ships eating the ships. Come here, fighter jet. How are you able to turn on a dime? That is not what fighter jets do. I can't even say it's turning on a dime. It's just doing like entire 180s randomly. Oh, I'm eating the trees. 
I'm eating the trees and the houses that the people live in. Oh my God. Someone bought like beachside property over there and they are really regretting it now. Well, unless they're home, then they're not regretting anything because they're dead. 17 meters. I never thought that I would get this big right off the bat. Usually you have to go through a lot of different boards to get like this. All right, about 20 meters to start there. I was wondering where the sea urchins were falling from on this board. They're like raining down because of the otters. I don't know if they're trying to, if they're trying to like poison in me or something like that? Hey, you little otters, you're looking pretty smug right now. Just you wait. You're feeding me so that one day I might murder you all. How the turns have tabled, otter! Come here! <laughs> Look at this. Boats dropping crude oil in the sea. There's only one way to fix this. By shoving it into my stomach. It's the same way I fix everything, actually. Yeah, you, you guys better enjoy this while you can. I'm only seven meters at the moment. Well, only seven meters. I got those seven meters really fast. I'm not really sure how good it would be to be a shark whose only meals throughout his entire existence has been oil. It's not even like processed oil. All right, I'm already at 10 meters. Even if I get run over a boat, it really doesn't bother me. It just increases my bloodlust. Okay, this shark can jump probably like 50 feet in the air now. I want to over you. Making boats fly. <laughs> I can jump now like 100 feet in the air because uh, it is about 100 feet because I'm about 13 meters long. I find it interesting that any one of these boats can survive underwater for an extended period of time until I eat them. This board is called Timber and I'm starting at seven meters and I'm already eating entire logs just chilling out. Like, why am I even eating the logs? This isn't pollution, it's just part of the world. I can under, okay, 12 meters. I can understand why I'm eating the people. Oh my God, <laughs> a 26 meter shark just walking on the water like it's no big deal. Just da -da -da. <laughs> opening his mouth every once in a while. Is there anything else for me to eat now? Did I just eat the entire planet out of like all of its nutrition? Oh, hold on, there's still more. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me flip to the moon over here and then kind of shark walk down the edge of this, the edge of this. 36 meters. Okay, at this point, we are starting with sea lions. This is what I eat for breakfast now. And you can see there's some whales. They're they're doing like whale gymnastics. I really have no clue what they're doing. They're probably just watching me eat all of the food in the entire ocean and wondering how long it will be before it's their turn. <laughs> Are you gonna like breach the surface whale? Hey, yay, he did. That whale can do a trick. I'm gonna eat him first because he's the smartest whale. I wouldn't want him warning all of his friends. Hello, trick whale. I see you, I've got a present for you. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm about to give you a medal if metal rhymed with death. Now, time has come where we will start from the bottom and then go beyond anything we have done before. First, at, you know, like five millimeters to start with we are eating fries double fisting fries oh i love calories but now fries no longer sate us so i must eat these hermit crabs as well come here get in my belly <laughs> All right, now we're almost at, there we go, seven centimeters, okay. Nine centimeters. I love that every once in a while my shark talks. He's like, sorry, man, this is evolution for you. Gray's at the helm, not me. Oh, the greenlings were populated just long enough for me to eat them all. It's kind of sad. All right, now we're eating jellyfish. Can I eat a duck yet? No, but I can make a duck drown hopelessly. I wanna see if I can follow this duck. Oh, I might, I might be, I might be big enough to eat him in a second. Where are you, duck? Oh, here he is, he got stuck, yeah! Yes! <laughs> I was saving that duck for later. All right, 32 centimeters so far. Not bad, not bad, but we can get way bigger, obviously. Come here, duck. Not just any duck, it's a mallard. How you doing there, salmon? You used to be pretty high on the food chain. Ooh. You're just on the food chain, but the food chain is mine. Did they just spearfish a, a goose? I'm pretty sure they just murdered a goose. That is not what y'all are going for. You know that, right? I can murder the geese. You cannot. I think I just DDT'd some random spearfish. Fisherman. We're about to have words, Spear Fisherman. I am not kidding. I am getting real big in a hurry. The time of redemption is almost at hand. Come here. Yeah, this is what you get for screwing up my ocean. And it is my ocean. 
I'm the king of it. Y'all just live here. Well, momentarily you live here. Now most of you are going to be fecal material in here. That's right. Scream for your life, fisherman. Oh, oh, it's it's awful. Oh, the unbridled death. We're already at one meter. Eating sea lions now. I got a lot faster when I get big like this. Kind of curious how any of these spear fishermen lived this long because their survival senses are garbage. They're like, man, I came down here with 30 other fishermen. Where did they all go? Well, I got good news and I got bad news. They're all still together. That's the good news. The bad news is they're all still together getting slowly digested in my stomach. All right, three meters. Now I can eat entire trees because why not? Kind of fi- that's fiber, basically. So I stay regular as a shark because most of the time I'm just eating protein and metal. Okay, I'm almost whale size now and there are planes for me to eat eventually. I can eat small whales now. Oh, I can eat planes. Come here. Can I eat houses yet? I can eat the one bedroom houses. This plane is going after me, man. Okay, now I can eat teenage whales. Well, now I can pretty much eat all the whales and the boats the whales and the boats 10 meters yeah i don't know what kind of what kind of language you whales are speaking but you're clearly not warning any of your friends about what i'm doing because y'all just went to the same spot and died come here housing development you're getting in the way all right 16 meters that's not too bad we have to go at least past 37 obviously all right 18 meters 19 meters can i get some bigger planes oh boy 22 meters oh we're moving fast now i want to get i want to get every single house i don't want to leave anyone i would hate i would hate for them to feel oh my god it's like entire battleships oh it's submarines with the actual nukes coming at me that's fantastic can i eat a boat yet yep it's a destroyer it's an entire destroyer okay i just shot that sub like 20 feet out of the water too oh it's a shark ramming ship right, more destroyers 65 67 70 now i can eat this sub and that means that there's nothing on the planet that can go against me you pull loot my sea, I'm gonna eat your entire planet. Seems fair. You can see right here you start as a sad octopus whose job is to clean up the ocean by eating things such as cigarette butts and bottle caps. However, the more junk you eat, the bigger you get. With the idea that eventually you get to just eat the planet. This way, no one gets to pollute the ocean anymore. I love how my octopus talks every once in a while. He's like, hey, Gray. I'm like, hey, octopus, what's your favorite pastime? He's like, murder. You can see here, we have uh, some bottle caps. Can I, whoop, yep, octopus absolutely fly in this world. That is fantastic. There's a couple of fish too. I don't really think that the fish did anything wrong. They're not really to blame for any of this, so I don't know if I'm really gonna have to eat them. Now we're grabbing the different candy wrappers over here at 3.75 centimeters. Do I eventually just get to eat the fish? Again, they didn't really do anything wrong, but I feel kind of bad just letting them live. Oh yeah, hold on. We are starting to turn into the largest thing in the sea. In fact, we just leveled up our entire size. Oh, Starbucks. It's one of the biggest offenders of our time. Biodegradable, eh? Yeah, your straws aren't biodegrading fast enough. It's been 17 years of still down here in the bottom of the ocean. Oh, now I can just eat entire forks and knives and spoons. I feel like digesting this. Oh, this poor fish. He had nothing to do with this. I think I'm undoing all of my previous work because all of the other animals in the sea that could enjoy a nice clean water are now getting murdered by me. And there's like $250 in change down here at the bottom of the ocean. Well, there was, I'm eating most of it. Am I eventually gonna eat that fish? Because it looks very angry. Like I'm not really sure exactly how tasty it's going to be going down. Oh, now we're just eating entire cans. Mmm, aluminum. Aluminum, part of every octopus's diet. I love Starbucks. Let's go ahead and grab all that. There we go. Oh, and, and the plastic soda can tops as well. And glass. Just solid glass. By the way, we're now 15 meters. That's a pretty decent size for, you know, an octopus that, oh God, we have, oh, there's entire birds. Am I going to eat the full bird? There's a toilet down here and somebody's beanie cap. All right, there's some plastic bags. Oh yeah. Oh, I think that these fish may be poisonous, but it really doesn't matter when you're this hungry. You know how some dogs drink toilet water? Well, we're going to literally eat the entire toilet. How's that? That is a barrel of oil, an entire barrel of oil sitting at the bottom of the ocean. What have you people been doing down here? Now, if I if I jump into these birds, oh, you get like headbutt them. <laughs> I'm gonna drown in this bird. <laughs> 
You're in my world now, bird. Oh, I ate the bird. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I feel so. I don't really feel bad because seagulls are just kind of the rats of the beach. Oh, this is awful. Got the Florida Keys over there. I hope you guys are enjoying your vacation because you're not going to be there for very long at the rate I'm growing. Okay, entire plastic bags now as well. We are 40. One centimeters, 42 centimeters. There are no fish in this sea that can deal with me now. I am the most powerful fish. Red footed booby. <laughs> That's what I'm eating. Oh, I love this diet. Oh, it's just eating all the coral now. It's probably protected. I'm eating full tires and the toilet bowl. I ate the toilet bowl. I almost can't fit in the water anymore. Okay, so that was the very first level. And we got to the point where we were eating tires. Oh, now it's just starting us big. We, oh, there's no, oh, there's entire dolphins. And the dolphin is trying to eat me. So I have to get big enough and eat him, huh? Okay. I hate to tell you this dolphin, there can only be one king of the sea. Oh yeah. Oh, we're growing quick. We're already at 33 centimeters. When can I eat toilet bowls? I know they're very, very nutritious. We are already at 53 centimeters. I want that delicious tire. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. You know how uh, bodybuilders eat raw eggs? I eat raw tires for breakfast, baby. Oh, now just entire jugs of oil. Oh, oil drops. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's gonna hurt passing that later on tonight. It's like Taco Bell, but my Taco Bell is made out of aluminum. Oh, I can, I can eat the dolphin. Oh my God. The dolphin made a sad little dolphin sound as it got eaten too. I feel so bad. Although to be fair, they were chasing me. They would have done the same. Clean up the garbage, but don't eat the fish. You got it. Is that a pair of underwear? All right. We got spoons. Uh-huh. The great thing is, in the end, you have to put all of your training together and you get to just finally eat the entire planet. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what all this effort is going toward. I have upgraded to eating underwear. I Well... I say upgraded, I, this, this doesn't really feel like an upgrade, but it's something I can do, okay? Now you can see, we are currently 34 centimeters. However, those are rookie numbers. Oh, there's an island just filled with underwear. They call them swimsuits, but this really looks like underwear. So I can now just fly out of the water and walk on land. That is so concerning. Are you ready? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. It is! <laughs> Where's all your clothes at? <laughs> it's it's part of a balanced breakfast for any octopus. There we go, yes. Where are all these red toques from? Like a bunch of Canadians staying over here or something? All right, so I've cleaned up the ocean of all the clothing. Okay, so now we're already starting at 49.6 centimeters. Oh, they're spear fishers. They're killing all of my fish friends. In order to help my fish friends, I have to eat them. I love how these, these spear fishermen have no con concept of friendly fire. All right, I'm 67 centimeters so far. I had to save one of those groupers by throwing it into my stomach. Meanwhile, the spear fishermen are just absolutely murdering one another down here. This is the most dangerous sport in the entire universe. 75 centimeters. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. This is happening right now. I have gotten my first taste of human flesh and it is delicious. How dare you shoot me? I will remember this for all time. Come here. Oh, yeah, I got your wife just a minute ago. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end up eating your entire extended family. Scuba diver. No one is safe. My, my octopus is now over a meter long. Who's left? I know there's at least one or two of you left alive around here. Wow. I am starting at 14 centimeters and I'm eating beverage cans right off the bat. Hold on. I need to, I need a little bit more speed to pop out of the water here. <laughs> Imagine seeing this coming at you while you're trying to chill out on the beach. Yeet is! Oh, I don't want to leave any cans behind. We're cleaning up the environment violently. Like, we're not talking a little bit. We're cleaning up the environment until there's no more environment left to clean up. Big! Oh, I can't. I cannot eat the barrels yet. Okay, so I wonder if I have to. Oh, I can knock them over, though. That's for sure. Just the sheer weight of my octopus body. Where's all the other octopus in this world? You ever notice that? Like, there's literally no other octopus around. What are those? There's mattresses! I'm eating whole mattresses. Also, I am almost for me. Oh my God, I'm eating cars. <laughs> I had just gotten done 
eating cars. What is next at this point? Am I eventually gonna have to eat like shipping ships? Like the giant ships that uh, move all your Amazon goods around and stuff? Oh, here we go. We got some hats down here. Okay, some big fish. Some more. Oh, those are really big cars. Those are full cars down. Oh, there's a shark down here. I'll bet that shark feels like he's uh, the apex predator. Oh yeah? I can jump out of the water and eat seagulls, okay? I'm coming for you next. No, oh, there's spear fishermen here too. Oh yeah, we're we're slowly putting it all together. Oh, they're not spear fishermen. They're just trying to be one with nature and they're getting murdered by the shark down here. I need to eat more boobies. God, that sounds terrible. Oh yeah. Oh, I have given into the hatred. And at this point, if you don't look like an octopus, you're getting eaten. Honestly, even if you look like an octopus, I might still eat you. Hey, fishermen, you guys aren't violent, are you? Oh no, they're not. They're actually quite nice. We'll see how nice you are when you see an octopus that's eating cars and stuff circling around you. I hate to tell you, I cannot be sated by- Whoa! I want to see if I- Can I push you into the shark? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Shark, come back. Hold on. I got an offering for you. <laughs> oh, more toilets. Oh, can I eat the big grouper now? Hold on. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's so many. It's just like going to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oddly, this buffet, though, the food tries to run away. Like, valiantly tries to run away. I feel kind of bad. I can probably jump out of the water like 60 feet now. Look at this. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I did not realize I would be eating you guys yet. But to be fair, if you want me to save you... I I technically have to eat you just trust me on this okay this this is how life works for real oh yeah it's a lot safer to die via me than it is to the shark actually that's a terrible way to try and build this it's a lot less painful how about that we'll, we'll say that oh there's a whole new slew of divers down here well there was they're all gone now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going deep sea diving for food now. Oh, there's a lot of sharks in here. What is that sound? Oh, it's an entire boat. Tell me I get to eat the boat. Please tell me I get to eat the boat. Hold on. Mattresses. Oh, there's a lot of boats. I don't know if that's the safest thing to be doing with your boat, man. There's helicopters. I don't know if they're trying to do search and rescue. There ain't no one left to rescue, man. Oh, there's entire whales down here. I can eat the sharks! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this is... This is so traumatic right now. I can't even tell you. On the plus side, look at how clean the ocean is ever since I got here. All right, I can't eat the helicopter quite yet. Don't worry, I'm working on it. The sharks have regenerated. Oh, here it is! Get out of the way, boat! Come here! Come here! Yes! You can land on the boats. I'm riding the boats. I was surfing them like a pair of water skis. Unbelievable. Come here. <laughs> oh, this is the way. You get so much size eating helicopters. I'm going on a helicopter only diet. Oh, I can eat the boats. Oh my God. He is. We're five meters big right now. I can jump out of the water like a hundred feet. Out of the way, boat. It's a giant shipping container. I can eat whales. Oh my God. Oh no. All of nature's creatures are simply food to make me get bigger. I can eat the palm trees. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is this is true magic. I can't tell you at this point how many millions of dollars of property I have eaten. It's it it may be in the hundreds of mil I'm going for a billion dollars in damage eventually here, okay? Am I eventually going to eat like a megalodon? Because I keep going lower in the ocean. I don't know what else could be down here. These whales are barely big enough to pick my teeth at this point. Okay, what's next? My day started out like any other. Eating garbage from the bottom of the ocean. And by garbage, I meant entire Canadian toques. Into tires. Into toilet bowls. Into oil cans. Into entire old mattresses. Into car bodies. Okay, so I've eaten so many car bodies. I have found what is polluting my ocean. It is these. Right now, I'm 16 meters long. Pretty soon, I imagine, I will finally be able to eat these boats and put an end to this pollution. Well, for now. Then eventually I'll have to eat something else. Well, eventually I'll just have to eat the whole planet. That's the best way to ensure 
that pollution is completely taken care of. It's just to, oh, here we go. Oh my God, oh yeah. <laughs> I love that in this board, people fall off the edges of this boat to go scuba diving. And there's literally just a school of man-eating sharks waiting for them. I mean, there's me too, but you'd figure that maybe people would learn that anytime someone books this, this boating excursion over on TripAdvisor or whatever, no one ever comes back, like at all. <laughs> there's literally nothing left. No corpses, no bones, no explanation about what happened. Come here, sharks. I'm the only one that gets to have dinner today. See, in this instance, the divers are getting to live a little bit longer, but it's only because before there was an entire school of sharks and there's just one of me. Also, I can launch a boat about 70 feet in the air. Kind of weird, but if I, if I do eat these boats, then there's not going to be any more scuba divers. So I feel kind of bad about what I'm about to do. I'm basically ruining my own food source. Some of the scuba divers got down pretty far. I'm very impressed with their tenacity, their willingness to, oh my God, to sacrifice everything. The time has come to octopi the entire ocean. Now we must put together everything that we've learned and eat even bigger than before. You remember, it's simple can lids. Now it's cigarette butts. Then it's soda bottle caps. Then aluminum bottle caps. Candy wrappers. Then golf balls. I didn't realize that these are just entire golf balls I'm eating. And then the first evolution that I get is my my ability to leave the water. I do not fear the air any longer. As a matter of fact, as far as I can tell, I can just live on the surface of the earth and it's like no big deal for some reason. Now I have my first taste of eating other undersea life. Big enough yet though, not big enough by a long shot, only eight centimeters. Ah, the days as a young octopus when I used to, you know, just eat the toppers. I don't drink my Starbucks, I eat it. And glass too. I like to wash down my Starbucks with glass. Not even broken glass or shards of glass, just the entire glass. At the moment, I live in fear of the mighty seagull for now. <laughs> How quickly I'm growing, already 30 centimeters. I was just born like 20 minutes ago. Already eating entire seagulls whole. Parrotfish, you think you're better than me? Uh, almost made that parrotfish go upside down. Oh, I did. He, he did did a full 360. I'm still waiting to be able to eat one of my absolute favorite delicacies, which is uh, raw toilet bowl, uncooked toilet bowl. Big fan, lots of fiber. Oh yeah, now the parrot fish are getting eaten. Oh boy, now the tires are getting eaten. Ah, oh, there we go. Mm. Oh, I love toilet bowls. Got some scuba divers over here, huh? You wanna learn more about uh, undersea life? I'm not sure you'd really wanna learn about undersea life after you see it eating all of the seagulls. I just devoured four seagulls in one jump just then. That seems like something, if I saw that as a diver, I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna go be a pilot and dead. Oh yeah. Entire groupers just getting eaten. Come here, seagulls. I'm not done with you yet. All right. Can I, can I eat the scuba divers yet? That's the, that's the real question of the hour. Oh yeah. Yep. Sure can. To be fair, most of the scuba divers are pro- Ow! Most of the scuba divers are actually probably still bigger than me. I'm only 1.3 meters at the moment. That shark got a taste of my octopus body and I'm not going to forget that. I've been calling them seagulls, but the fact that they're red-footed boobies make me wonder or at least hope if a red-footed booby is indeed a seagull. I have a tendency to hate seagulls because I love pizza and hamburgers, but the problem is seagulls also love pizza and hamburgers, but they have a tendency to eat my pizza and hamburgers burgers like out of my hand while I'm trying to enjoy it on the beach. I love how no one's fighting back at all. I am just murdering everything and mankind is like, you know what? Maybe it's better this way. Maybe our octopus Cthulhu god needs to rule the entire planet. I mean, to be fair, what else were you going to do with all these car husks? You guys can't figure out how to get rid of them, so I might as well be the one to do it. Boom, right there. All right, we're at three meters, still not even close to being big enough. The moment you can start eating helicopters, Helicopters, that's when you know. Come here. I mean, tiger sharks are good and all, kind of fatty. 
if you ask me. But the real main dish is helicopters right there. Come here, come back. There we go. Oh man, they, they are serving up these helicopters to me on a silver platter. So now we are just absolutely devouring helicopters and full ships. Are those shipping containers down here? You dare drop shipping containers on the bottom of my ocean? There's a couple of helicopters. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Just, just skating along the top of that can this trash ship over here. All right, eating the whale sharks. We are now almost eight meters. We are eight meters. We are past eight meters. I think that the meters in this game is going to get really out of hand really quickly. Look at how tiny the boats are compared to us at this point. They don't even feel very filling. What else is going to be left after the gigantic trash ships? Is it going to be uh, aircraft carriers? I don't know. Do I hear like a submarine? It's a submarine. It's shooting a nuke at me there's hot air balloons yes oh my god i'm so sorry oh there's like skyscrapers over here hold on let me grab your uh <laughs> let me grab your palm trees and i can eat the shipping containers yes um, yum, 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 yum 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 i'm 22 meters oh wow that oh i can eat the trash ships how are there even more hot air balloons now? Garbage ships, that's what they're called. They're just a food source for me, yay! Oh my god, I can eat the submarines, yes! <laughs> oh, can I eat the bay? You can eat the buildings! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, there's really big ships over here. Okay, so I need to I need to get even bigger so I can eat those. Come here, come here. I need all you submarines. Look at all this garbage. Don't worry though, we can clean it. Well, we can murder everyone involved with it. All right, more submarines. I love how submarines in this game just do full no scope 360s. These submarines are driving like this is this is some Miami traffic down here. This is incredible. I am 85 meters long. Oh my god, I think I can eat them. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh how I Oh, perfect. Oh wow. 184 meters. Yes. And the octopus world is complete. Here we are. Tiny little penguin. Sad depressed. Well, actually maybe we're not because somehow we can fly. Now as you can see right here, penguins don't have any problems eating things such as other living creatures and apparently sunflower seeds. So the idea is is that pollution and technology have basically ruined your entire life and have thrown you out of, you know, your your Arctic Circle or whatever at this point. And the only thing that's left to do is to get revenge. What am I eating now? Is it like a tiny meatball? Oh, it's a, it's a little meat chunk. I love how it doesn't specify what kind of meat it is. Oh. That, uh, that fly just ran right into my mouth. So technically I didn't murder him. He kind of murdered himself. I like how this fly over here is just like, I'm gonna mind my own business and maybe he won't see me. Oh, I see you. Grain of rice that's very healthy, little meat chunk. Oh, some teriyaki sauce. Mmm. Love teriyaki sauce. What can I eat up here? Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I'm not gonna lie, as a Floridian, if I could just have a, a pet penguin that would eat all of the mosquitoes. That would be fantastic. To be fair, I think that eating all of these like living creatures is pretty realistic because don't penguins eat fish or whatever? I'm not sure the penguin actually cares how, how much life is left in the fish at the time. I don't know. I really don't know any penguins personally. I met a penguin once and I, I gave him a hug. It was at SeaWorld though. But see, if the penguin was like this penguin, it was constantly growing to the point where it would become as big as a planet, I'd probably not have hugged him. Because I'd be afraid that he would murder me. We're eating black flies now. So we're at one centimeter in size. Oh, is that a bigger meat chunk? It looks like a bigger meat chunk. Whoa! Oh, I'm not gonna lie, like, butterflies from this close up look very, very evil. Alright, so what is this, like an M&M? Yup. Oh, it's a tapioca pearl! Where am I? Like, what is in here that I'm eating? What was What's that? Oh, I thought I could eat these gigantic chunks over here. Those like French fries or something? Give me your meat! Now, if I if I don't get to be like, you know, ow! If I don't get to at least eat several buildings, you know what? Actually, I want to eat like a mountainside. That'd be fantastic. I like it when the things I'm eating are. Ooh, it's a big meat chunk. I've upgraded. I like. What was that? 
Oh, it is a french fry! Also, did you hear the sound that the penguin made? That is, like, really concerning. <laughs> that may be an actual penguin sound, but... I'm, oh, I'm gonna need you to calm down, Mr. Penguin. What I was trying to say is I love eating things that really should not be edible at all. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, animal. I just, I just, I eat, I eat the beautiful things, the less beautiful things at this point. I thought I was gonna get my revenge on humanity, but I don't know, maybe just because moths and butterflies get along with human beings so well, I, I guess I'll take out my hatred on them too. Ooh, like entire teriyaki sticks. That's what I'm talking about. As I go in there, butterfly, the butterfly's like, Well, I'm minding my own business, could you not? <gasps> too bad. Look, man. It's for the purposes of the game. I need to get to unreasonable sizes. And right now I'm at a totally reasonable size. I don't like it. I love that there's little, I don't know, like fruit bats or whatever too. I'm not gonna lie, Mr. Bat. You look delicious. Am I gonna eat this stuff? Ooh. Oh, meat on a stick. Oh yeah. Oh, I love meat on sticks. Oh, your extra fries. Also, like, does no one take care of this area? Like, no one's picked up the trash in who knows how long. I should be getting paid for this. As I eat every living being around me, something else I thought about, if I can eventually just eat the atmosphere of the whole universe, then I will be flighted as a bird because there won't be anything to hold me back. I've decided I know what this penguin sounds like. It sounds like if you took a normal bird and then you possessed it, like, with the exorcist. That's what this voice sounds like. Here, you don't believe me? Hold on, let me, let me... Oh, let me find something here, right? Right there, hear that? Exorcist, right there. I am literally eating styrofoam containers. I'm gonna have a great, oh, oh, oh it, it's, it's time for vengeance. I was gonna say, I'm gonna have a fantastic time trying to pass those styrofoam containers out the, out the digestive system later on. Where's your styrofoam at? I'm here to clean up this city, like literally clean up this city. Did I just eat a brick? Bubble tea cup. I'm pretty sure I ate a brick though. I did. I ate an entire brick. Am I gonna eat the cinder blocks eventually? Oh, it's, it's owls. Oh, I love owls. Kind of makes me feel bad that I'm eventually going to be devouring them mercilessly. Seriously, you guys do not take care of your city at all. I'm starting to not feel bad that I'm going to destroy all of humanity. Well, all, humanity and every other living creature on this entire planet, apparently. Someone's gonna have their parakeet chilling out outside, and they're gonna come home from work, and the only thing that's gonna be left is, I don't know, whatever the feathers are that a penguin has. Ow. I think I just gave that owl brain damage. I don't know what a penguin would leave to let them know that a penguin was there, like penguin droppings or something. Oh! I could just eat the cinder blocks now! Why not? Mm. Packed full. <laughs> Packed full of vitamins. Oh no, I eat the owls. I really like owls too. For breakfast, I mean. What in the. What am I dealing with here? What, what am I gonna have to take out like bionic soldiers? What is that, a hoverboard? It's like a hover motorcycle. Give me your cinder blocks. I need them to grow. Don't ask me why. I don't know either. Listen, this is how ecology works, alright? Ow! You're gonna pay for that. The guy's probably just heading home from work. Not for long. Don't mind me just doing some building maintenance around your apartment complex. And by maintenance, I mean all of these various other creatures that live here, they're not going to live here anymore. Am I gonna get to eat all of the air conditioning systems? I won't actually have to murder the people if we're in Florida because you can't survive without an air conditioning system. Well, it's possible that you could survive, but you don't really want to. Oh, I'm eating cardboard boxes now. Look at how much cleaner this neighborhood looks because I ate everything. Look at it. Looks so much better. All of you are responsible for all this trash and I'm the one taking care of it. Look at that, bam, right there, boom. Oh, oh, you can't eat air conditioning systems. Yay! <laughs> oh man, the mean, uh, the, like the average temperature is gonna go up by about 20 degrees inside of this place. Also, I will say, it doesn't really look like anyone up. <gasps> oh, you get into people! Oh, oh, it's a cyborg. Those are cyborgs and humans living in harmony. Well, they were living in harmony. Now they're not living at all. No, no, come back. Come back. Look, I'm gonna turn around. You won't know I'm here. Look, I'm not looking at you. I have no idea what's going on. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, is it the- Ah, it's the police. You can't, you can't do this to me. I'm an endangered species. All right, apparently the police do not care. Sorry, everyone. 
Because of the police, I need to eat all of you so I have the strength to get back at them. Oh, you can eat the motorcyclists now. Come here, you look delicious. <laughs> I'm eating the dumpster. <laughs> Oh my god! It is a hover bike. I love how no one can be bothered to even run the police cars through a car wash. Ow. Oh my god, I just ate an entire car. I can't even tell you how much, like, Freon or whatever is inside of my body right now. Oh boy! I'll tell you. If there's one thing I love eating, it's tetanus. Mm. When I violently poop out all of these air conditioning units, can you imagine how many people that would murder on the ground? <laughs> Just from the weight. I mean, a lot more than a, than a compressor fix to fix everything I've done to these air conditioning units. All right, I think I've eaten absolutely everything on the ground floor. I'm now eating police, humans, hover cars. I don't know what that is over there, but I can't wait to dine on it. Anything cool up here? Oh, it's an entire sign. Now that, oh, oh my God, it's a hover car garbage truck. You guys weren't doing any work anyway. There's garbage everywhere. What garbage were you picking up? You weren't, do you weren't doing it. The waste of taxpayer dollars. You're better off feeding the eight and a half meter long penguin. I am almost 10 meters. Oh, oh, yes, hover bus! What is this shooting at me? Is this like the military after me now? <laughs> you guys better watch out. You're gonna end up murdering your own populace, you know. Hey, epic dodge. Oh, they killed one another! A hover tank just like blew up another hover tank. I assume that's what that is. I'm gonna keep eating these buses until I'm big enough to, to have my vengeance, to finally get back at those who destroyed my family, my ecosystem, my, the food sources. Yeah, you know who can't live off of microwave meals? Me. You did this. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, the hover tanks. Oh, yeah. 22 meters. What's left? What what else can I eat? Am I going to eat, like, uh, space shuttles or something eventually? All right, so we can eat all of the tanks with absolutely... Oh, my God. I ate an entire apartment building. I am 30 meters. 31 meters. 30... Okay, we are getting... Oh, oh my... We are gaining meters real fast. I love how, how out of control the penguin gets. We're at 46 meters already. Eat this! We're eating entire buildings. Oh boy. 59 meters. Hey, oh, 64 meters. <laughs> eating hover tanks, it's basically like a palate cleanser. That's all it really is. See, that's like a snack. It's like having a pistachio nut or something. I like to I like to eat full-sized skyscrapers when I can. This right here. You see it? This is what's causing all the pollution. I'll be back. I got to eat more of your friends first. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yep, factories. Look at that. Look at look at how much I'm helping out the atmosphere. Is this What do What are people living on? Is this like a floating island? Oh. 347 meters of penguin. Oh, there's more city up here. Yay. Imagine you live in like the high priced island and you're watching all these other islands get devoured by this derp of a penguin. And you're like, obviously that can't possibly happen to us. Oh, really? 510 meters of angry bird. What do I eat now? Hold on, I just gotta grab a drink by eating your oceans. Oh, I just eat the entire, oh, it's a floating island. I'm just eating the entire island now. I love it. 682 meters, 771, 817, we're almost 900 meters. There it is, 900, a kilometer. This bird is now a kilometer. Oh my God. Oh, 1.4 kilometers, 1.64. Are we going to be a mile? <laughs> oh, no. 3.69 kilometers. <laughs> All right, we may be starting out as like a sad molecule of a cat, 
But we're going to be moving through a lot of animals real fast. And of course, we're going to have to end up with the most ridiculous one. I'm not stopping until I can eat the entire planet. For real, we're starting off at a right around two centimeters. And there is more life on this floor than in like a science experiment Petri dish. Also, I do love how the cat's eyes kind of oogle whatever he's about to consume, which is now finally meat, otherwise known as these cockroaches here. Whoever owns this area should be happy that someone is cleaning up. It's just that someone is a cat that's eventually going to murder them. We both know that there's no way that all of humanity is not going to get eaten by this cat. As a matter of fact, I think that's the purpose of this cat being grown in the first place. Now his eyes are big enough to the point where you can watch them. Look at him. <laughs> I love how they kind of scurry back and forth. He saw the mouse coming. He's like, oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to lie. I love croissants. And the fact that I cannot yet eat this croissant pains me greatly. I don't like peas, even though they're very high in fiber. As a matter of, oh, God. I'll remember that. No, seriously, I'm going to remember that. I'm already five centimeters long. It's not going to be too much further from now at the point when I'm devouring your entire rodent family, which I guess is something normal that a cat would do anyway, so it's not really unusual or anything. But considering... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, now who's running? Yeah, now who's running? Yeah, I don't think so. Six centimeters. If we're not a mile long, it's not big enough yet. Oh, I can finally get drunk as a cat. That is fantastic. There's a whole bottle of wine right here with my name on it. I'm a French cat, you see. I don't even drink the liquid in the bottle. I just consume the entire bottle and my stomach juices break down the glass and then I get drunk on whatever's left. I, I still can't eat these, these croissants. It's killing me. I want carbs. Not peas. There's no peas anymore. I ate them all. I'm curious if knives are high in fiber. Also, why do these mice sound like blue jays? How come you could eat the knives before you could eat the croissants? I don't want a diet that consists of sharp death inst- Actually, you know what? Maybe I do. That's what we're going for anyway. Chef's knife. Oh, now I, now I can have the croissant. Yeah, sure. I love how no one's even running anymore. They're like, this is inevitable. We're just going to let it happen. Imagine this cat just starts projectile vomiting the 10,000 blades he's been devouring. It's like scarier than some kind of D&D &D creature. Ah, look at that. You see that right there? Human beings. You know what they're not doing? Cleaning the floor. Me eating you does nothing negative for this entire restaurant. I assume this is a restaurant. Yeah, I can see him serving nothing to anyone. See this lady? Look at her. She's sitting here. Do you know what she's eating? Nothing. Because all the food is on the floor. She doesn't even have to pay anything. She could literally just crawl around and pick up 35 bottles of wine chilling out on the floor. Now she's not going to have anything because I'm the one eating all of the wine. I said, well, eating, drinking, well, partly drinking. I'm eating the glass and drinking the wine. I am going to literally be a Godzilla cat. Like it's going to be scary. I'm going to be a Mecha Godzilla cat because effectively I'm going to have so much metal in my body. It's going to change the very fabric of the creature I am. What are your, what are your job description? Oh my God. Well, I guess I can ask him now. I was going to say, what is your job description? Because I haven't seen any of you do anything. If I just stand here, will you walk into my mouth? And then I don't have to do anything. Oh, here we go. Yep. Look at that. Don't have to do it. Oh, here we go. It's a conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt of human meat. That's what this is. I don't need to work at all. I just have to wait for them to not do their job and then come up here by the burners that they're not using to cook anything and then die. Well, I think I've killed everyone on this side. Where's your manager at? I want to speak to your manager. Not because I have something good to tell him, because I'm hungry and I want to eat him. That's how we deal with problems in Catland. We just eat them. Can I eat this lady yet? It's not like she's getting served anything, right? Hold on, I have to kill all the waiters first, apparently. Oh, I have to eat the chairs first. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is simply delectable. See, when you, when you eat the customer, you get a free chair as well to devour. All right, I can't eat the tables yet, unfortunately. Oh man, these chairs. What is this? Uh, is this a? Is this you? Is this a? Uh, is this? Is this pine? Tastes kind of like pine. There are so many human beings to eat. Oh, I just ate a street lamb. 
I mean, was it not plugged in? Oh, hold on. That guy right there was helping the environment, so I had to go ahead and end him. Because this environment is not going to last much longer with me around. Like, there's literally not going to be anything in the environment, I should say. Like, these trees here? Bam. Oh, it's a bush. Thought it was a tree. I'm sure I'll be eating full trees in no time. Give me that light, too. You guys don't need light to see anymore. You're going to be sitting in the bottom of my stomach. I love how some people scream more convincingly than others. Like, some people are just like, ah, oh, ooh. Some people make it sound like this is really a travesty that they're getting eaten by, a, you know, a two-meter-long cat. He ain't need a car yet. That's unfortunate. Yeah, all the street lights belong to me. I'm gonna be like the Electro Cat. I'm gonna have special X-Man powers from all the electricity I've got coursing through my body. I think I'm getting close to eating a car. Maybe if it was a compact car, I could have eaten it by now. All these cars are gonna crash in. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now, can I just stand in the middle of the road? <laughs> Hold on, does it hit me? Oh, no! I just eat it with my rib cage. Look, this <laughs> just goes to the side of the ribs. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's a double right there. Two, look at this, double fisting cars. How about that? Two for one, baby. Yep, trees are going now. All right, we are now six meters in size. Again. Not not close to a mile yet, so it's not good enough. For, you know, I'll take a kilometer. How about a kilometer? Since we're in Paris or whatever. I am now many, many times larger than cars. I am 10 meters long. What are the what are these things over here? Is this just like the uh, like the commercial district? Are these buildings? It just looks so plain. I can't really tell. I've been on a vegetarian kick for so oh, never mind. There we go. I was gonna say I've been on a vegetarian kick for so long eating trees. So when I eat when I eat an entire building, do I get all the people inside too? Like is that where I'm getting my protein from how hard is it to pass concrete i feel like that's something that i should tell my doctor that i've been consuming is literally concrete oh wow we are uh we are just we are eating entire blocks at this point i am 26 meters long 29 meters long the meters of length are growing much faster than i had previously 37 much faster than i had previously anticipated there's some buildings I can't eat yet. Never mind. I can eat all the buildings now. I'm eating entire chunks of buildings. Look at that. That was like that was like eight buildings all together. 60 meters. Oh god. Yep, just just go ahead. Just clean up the entire city. We're not gonna have to worry about any kind of taxes for mate for like beautification because there's what? not going to be anything like what did I just eat? What was that? Was that a bridge? Yep, that is a full bridge connecting the two sides of of Paris together. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish there was like a death counter. Like I assume we could just say it's the score. You know, you've murdered like 30,000 people so far. Actually, hold on, one building, how many people? Eight, one. So that was only seven people, for instance, in that building. I don't know, maybe it's like a, maybe it's early on a Sunday or something and there's just not that many people. Let me get rid of all the bridges. No one gets to leave. Was that a good, oh, that was the Eiffel Tower. I didn't realize how unreasonably large I had become and that that was the Eiffel Tower. Oh, now we're eating literal city blocks. They're just called city blocks. I thought that was a gazebo. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower's looking at me sideways. It's like a gazebo gray. Really? Look, man. I don't even have to jump across the water. I just wade through it. This is how my cat gets a bath now. He bathes inside of the canals of Paris. We are 400 meters. 500 meters. 500, 600 meters. Neighborhood we're eating full neighborhoods now. It's not even called city block like right over here You might have a good friend that lives in that neighborhood gone right there. How many points is that worth? 54 points in a neighborhood that actually sounds Kind of realistic like if you figure there's three two or three people to a house or something There's like 20 houses there. Oh, yeah 30 and 29 points per neighborhood. There's no more neighborhoods left <laughs> Evolution in this game is 10 out of 10, so we've evolved from a cat into a dingo. 
and we're small again. Sad dingo, 1.74 centimeters. Now fortunately, he's already begun eating living beings. So it's kind of like training, right? Because you figure they they always end up eating people. No matter no matter where you go, no matter what animal you pick, you will inevitably eat humans. Why? Because this game has taught me that human beings are delicious. It's the one thing I've learned from this. Now we are gaining size fairly quickly here. I'm already on beetles and I'm almost four centimeters in size, which is good. I really want to change of scenery because the ground is so boring. It's just very, very Floridian. It could use some additional colors. It's kind of like I'm just walking across a piece of old meatloaf. Sorry, Gecko. That's an angry frog. And that frog is not letting me go. He really wants a piece of me. Okay, I can now eat mice. Just entire mice. Even though they're basically larger than I am, it doesn't matter. They get instantly digested. My colon must be the strongest muscle in my body. No joke. Okay, now I'm getting tag teamed by frogs. Don't like that. Hey! You guys can't work together. Stop that. It's illegal. It's against the rules. If this city had a rat problem, they don't really have it anymore. There's not many left. Well, I guess it's not really a rat. It's a <laughs> Lanagale or something. I don't know. It's that word. I would ask Google what it means, but I'm getting murdered by frogs. You f oh, here we go. Yeah, or am I? You know what you cane toads taste like? Revenge. Come here. All you cane toads grew up bullying me and my people. Now you're all gonna go extinct. Well, technically everything on this planet is going to go extinct, but y'all in particular, as well as that rabbit, are not long for this world. Listen, I didn't really have anything against the rabbit. It kind of got in the way, but now that I've had a taste for rabbit, I want to keep eating them. Very addictive. They're very spicy rabbits. They're like the chipotle of, uh, of animals. Oh, wow, what the, I don't, that was an amazing sound. Hold on, what did I just eat? It's like a yak or something? A feral goat! Oh, I've decided to finally get some vegetables into my system. Like mo- Oh, alright, well vegetables and this fence! Can't wait to pass this out my rectum. And these sheep. Listen, lamb can be very expensive. As can the sweet flesh of kangaroos! Oh, walking hamburgers. Can't wait until I can eat you. It's gonna be a minute. I've gotta eat a few more kangaroos. Is that the sound that kangaroos make? That is the most uncute sound I think I've ever heard. Whenever I've seen a kangaroo, I want to hug it. And now I want to run in fear of it. All right, all the fences. Gotta make sure to uh, wash down the sad wildlife I've been eating with fencing. There we go. Perfect. Fencing. Sheep. All of the cows. And this tree. And this tree. And this tractor! <laughs> I can't believe I have not eaten one single human yet. What is going on? Oh, I just ate a shack. Now, there may have been a human inside of that shack. I really don't know. I mean, obviously, there's someone inside of the truck. Well, I believe there would be. I guess we'll never know. The tank is shooting at me! Hey! Stop defending yourself. I don't like that. Come here. Yeah. You, you want to keep shooting at me? You think because you have armor on, that means anything? I'm gonna keep eating all of your defenseless friends, too. All the, we don't even know what these crops are of. It doesn't matter, though, they taste delicious. They're also high in fiber. I'm also 12 meters in size right now. Well, I'm just, I'm not even eating like a crop. I'm double fisting the crops at this point, like five crops at a time. Oh, now the entire crop bill. Oh, it's the house! Like a family of four chilling out inside the house. They're gone. Like, I could maybe say that the uh, tanks could be remote controlled, possibly, or something. Almost like drone tanks. But probably not the house. Probably not the residential house. There's just like a normal person in there. Well, there was. All right, what am I missing here? There's, there's no place left to live. I've evolved from a dingo directly into a bee. You see, they are... Of course, related. <laughs> you can see my happy bee over here eating pollen even though it kind of looks like delicious chicken nuggets. This is why you should never feed your bees McDonald's. Now, right now, my bee is not carnivorous, okay? Actually, I don't know if any bees are really carnivorous. They, they may just go after stuff for protective sake. I don't really know if they go after everything to murder it and then eat its flesh. Now, we are going to, obviously, all wildlife in this game exists to eat other wildlife like that. Oh, come here. Yeah, gnat. 
We're almost at five millimeters. Five millimeters, right there. And once your B gets large enough that it begins to take up most of the screen, that means it's time to pull on back. Which I'm surprised isn't really happening yet. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, when you start, ah, it's a whole hummingbird. The thing that's particularly funny to me is it's a hummingbird, but it sounds like a nuclear engine kind of powering up. It's like some sort of spaceship flying around. They're probably not really hummingbirds. They're just aliens vaguely shaped like hummingbirds. That's why I'm going to have to murder all of them. If I didn't do it, they'd end up taking over the planet somehow, just like Invincible's dad tried to do. And you're just a multicolored Viltrumite, aren't you? Like the Omni-Man of avian creatures. Come here, bees. You're doing a, you're doing your civic duty over here, dying to make me slightly larger so that I can eat these things. There we go. Oh yeah. Several centimeters long now. I'm always curious to see exactly how stupid the creatures can get. Okay, now I'm just eating the entire plant. Why eat the, the pollen when you could just chew on the whole flower? There we go. Yeah, it's very floral tasting. Now at some point, obviously, dining on birds and flowers isn't enough. You have to begin eating people, but first I guess I'll chew on this cardinal. <laughs> I hear something else. Is that a drone? I hear like a drone or something. Oh, I'm, oh, apples. All right, well, those are healthy. There's, a, there's like 30 drones in this area. You know, some sort of like drone laws where you're not supposed to fly a drone, you know, within 12 inches of another drone. These drones are right on top of one another. Look at all this. Ow, God. Drones are trying to murder all these birds. I need to eat these birds. Stop trying to run all the birds over. I feel like drones aren't necessarily packed full of vitamins, but I'm gonna eat those anyway. If it can fit in my mouth, it's getting eaten. There we go. Oh yeah, that can't be healthy. I'm gonna be defecating blades and circuit boards. That sounds terrible. On the plus side, I am really cleaning up the sky. I'm surprised there's any birds left that wanna fly around here. They've been watching all their brethren get gobbled up by like a giant mutated floppy-eyed bee. My bee looks drunk. So I think you're beekeeping huts. You know how you kept me around and made money off of me? Yeah, you're gonna be regretting that in a minute. Oh, it's an entire eagle. That has got to be a felony if I eat the eagle. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're probably, they're probably endangered or protected or something, but the bee does not care. Ah, give me them drumsticks. Up oh, now it's time to eat all these and the bushes and probably the people! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Humankind is not long for this world. Get over here. I just pulled someone off of their balcony. Oh, wow. There's gonna be a lot of people going missing inside of this neighborhood. I wanna be able to eat a helicopter. I can't wait. Well, and I'd like to eat an entire Subaru Outback or something as well. If someone's heard a camera gets shoved down my beef throat. That guy was like, A! No. B! Ah, there we are! That's right, you'll pollute the atmosphere no longer! You can't pollute anything when you're dead. Yeah! Oh, there's a, an entire, like, fighter plane! The old World War II aircraft or something. Gotta eat all the ultralight aircraft. I'm surprised they're not shooting at me. Considering, I think I've been like responsible for 300 deaths at this point. I am now four meters. I am a four. Me oh, there we go. World War II fighter plane. It is legitimately a fighter plane. I'm eating entire trees. The deciduous trees all belong to me. All the cars, all the ultralight aircrafts, the World War II. Where's, where's bigger planes? Like a Chinook. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Planes, helicopters. I get like a large boat or something. Oh, the, there's the coniferous trees. We're going through all the different species of plant. There's the tandem rotor helicopters. We are now tw 12 meters in size. This is very concerning. I'm surprised that everyone is still driving so placidly. You notice no one's breaking the speed limit or anything? They just get eaten by the giant bee and they just let this happen. All right, larger trees, all those are gone now. Pretty soon I'm gonna be eating the buildings, no joke. I can hear like an airliner or something. There it is, yes, airliners. Hold on, we've got things to do. I've eaten so many tandem rotor uh, helicopters at this point. 
These buildings gotta be edible at some point. Oh, here we go. There we go. All the rest of the trees. Oh, you can headbutt the planes. <laughs> I mean, it goes upside. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Almost made the plane go upside down. Oh, can you make a dive bomb the ground? Hold on. Come on, keep going, keep going. Yeah, try and land it. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? You trying to get home? <laughs> yeah, the flight's been delayed because a maniac B. Ooh. A maniac B decided to make sure that the plane crashed into the earth. That is hot. 34 meters. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Can eat the jumbo jets now. 37 meters. I can't eat the skyscrapers yet, but I feel like we're definitely getting there. Never mind, I can eat the skyscrapers now. Sweet. All right, 63, 67, 68, 60, 93. That was a quick jump. 98, 112. Oh my God, I just ate a hill. It's not even called anything particularly amazing. It's just an entire hill. Pretty soon I'm going to be eating countrysides. It's gonna be called countryside. No big deal. 100, 170, oh, I'm sorry, 196 meters. All the hills, 243 meters. We're almost at a kilometer, which is pretty good. Do I eventually get to eat the crust of the earth? Because I can see it sitting there and it is very, very appetizing. I would love nothing more than to just suddenly begin dining on the crust of the earth. It's called the crust after all, it should be edible. Oh, I thought that was background buildings. Nope, <laughs> this is edible, but this entire city escapes. No problem, totally edible. Uh, I'm running out of stuff to eat. Oh, never mind. There's more stuff to eat now. Okay, they've got like Mount Fuji over here. That is fantastic. Keep eating. Uh huh. That was a mountain. Just stayed a mountain. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of mountains. No, I'm over five kilometers in size. Now I'm eating. Is that an island? Yep, whole island. Might as well suck up the seas while I'm doing I can't believe I could just like, you know, fly right on the water. I don't know how well bees swim. This bee does a great job though. 15 kilometers in size. Uh, I'm running out of humanity. I think I've eaten most of it. I'm pretty sure I may have just picked up Japan or something into my mouth. That's gone now. 51 kilometers. Oh my God, 105 kilometers in size. 133. This is getting out of hand. I didn't actually think it would get quite this big. <laughs> this is amazing. 233 kilometers, yes, 300, 400 kilometers. Oh my God, I'm just eating the continents. I'm 200, 2 point, er, hold on, 3.33 megameters. There goes the moon, there goes the earth. I mean all the planet. This is where we start as a 607 zeptometer black hole. Yummy. I had to, I didn't know that my black hole talked. I had to go over to Google to find out exactly how big a zeptometer is. I think it said it's one sextillionth of a meter. In case you're wondering, that's really small. Like right now, we're not even eating protons and neutrons. We are existing at a sub-molecular level or something. I don't know, science wasn't really my strong subject. I just like to eat everything that could be vaguely considered the derivative of life. Now, as you can imagine, you may start small, but eventually we're going to get bigger and bigger. I actually don't know what a black hole this size would do were it to be released on Earth. It's like the, mal the most malnourished black hole in the entire universe. Oh, now I'm an atometer. Maybe, maybe that's how you say it. I'd have to look up on Google what that is because I don't know. Okay, now, oh, I, I'm, I'm eating protons at this point and neutrons. Oh yeah, give, give me, me the, the makeup, makeup of, of your cellular, cellular structure. structure. Oh, it's delicious. delicious. I love it, there's nothing I love more than slapping a neutron and a proton together between two slices of bread with a couple of pieces of American cheese. I love that my black hole is like, ah, oh, it's delicious. So what's coming after the protons and neutrons? Are we going, are we going molecular at this point? Is this considered atomic? I think this is considered atomic. Femtometers? The best part about these numbers 
is that they could ju they could just be making up anything and I would buy it. It really doesn't matter. They could be like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a great meter. I'd be like, oh, it's named after me. Oh, hydrogen nucleus. I feel like hydrogen may normally be important. Oh, you're a big piece of something. I didn't get to see what it was. There it is. Oh, it's an oxygen nucleus. Now, if there's one way to destroy all life on planet Earth, it would be by eating all the oxygen. Although, technically, I think we're beginning on Mars. Alrighty, I'm past a shadow meter now into, you know, pectometers or whatever it's called. Part of me wants to say, like, pico meters, <laughs> like pico de gallo. <laughs> Cause I'm so hungry right now. That's why I'm playing an eating game. Oh, it's like a, it's like an atomic Mickey Mouse. I can't wait to chew on you. Mmm, hydrogen. I even get to see their magnetic fields or whatever. I love it. Okay, now we're eating the oxygen. That's good. Mickey, come here. You look delicious. I can't eat him yet. I'm not big enough. Oh, now I can hold on. There we go. It's a water molecule. Oh, H2O. I'm getting an entire like eighth grade science lesson that I never thought I would get in a game. Between devouring all of the air and all of the water and basically all of the molecules, I think I understand why I'm going to be the reason that no one gets to survive. What comes next after molecules? When do I eat objects that I can easily identify? <laughs> Like a, like a pencil or maybe a paper clip. Maybe asking yourself. Great, what would those be doing on Mars? Listen, just like on Earth, I can only imagine that scientists and astronauts are leaving stuff all over the place. That is a very vibrating red molecule. What are you? We're starting to gain size a lot faster now. Into the 500, oh, I ate it. Oh, an, an iron oxide molecule. Yeah, let's see what life is like without your iron oxides. Oh, okay, things got really out of hand. All of the water molecules belong to me. Woo! <laughs> the black hole is starting to get out of hand. I like it. Uh... Romovirus? I mean, it doesn't sound like it would taste good, but black holes don't care. They're just glad to get fed. Oh, now I'm just eating the entire virus in one bite. There we go. Besides, like, paper clips and stuff, I also want to get to, like, size terminology that I know. Even millimeters now feel a lot more comfortable. Also, was there, like, a molecular frog down here? Yeah, see him chilling on this, whatever this is. I can't eat him yet, but I imagine I eventually will. Nothing's getting left behind, you understand. I will devout- Oh, hold on. <laughs> Bacteriophage? I am going to eat literal time and space itself. That's right, your conceptualization of time is not long for this world. I am eating all of the crispy frog creatures. Oh, yeah. Molecular potato chips. Delicious. So high in sodium, I would assume. I don't know, are bacteriophages salty? This be more like a bitter meal. I have eaten a lot of your friends and family, man. I feel kind of bad about this. Oh, here we go. I have upgraded to whatever. I don't know. Whatever those whatever those red spheres flopping around are. I assume they're not meatballs. Well, I guess they kind of are. They're like uh, microscopic meatballs. When am I allowed to eat one? That was a prickly, like a prickly sausage or something. I do love sausage too. Oh, don't don't touch the prickly sausage. For some reason, it's got. Uh, like black hole repellent on or something. Oh, I can eat my first meatball, sweet. Where is it? Here we go. Caucus? Sure. Caucus? It's, oh wow, I am just, I'm finally starting to eat the giant eggplants. Well, I guess they're super small eggplants. Ah, I finally developed into a micrometer. Micrometer, micrometer. I went on Google right now to look and everyone's pronunciation has thumbs downs. All of them are rated terribly. No one can agree on exactly how to say this. I love that my black hole is like swimming. I'm not really sure where, where as a black hole I developed this skill set, but obviously it's coming in quite handy. Ooh, what was that? Martian dust. I'm eating full dust particles now. How, how I've grown as a black hole <laughs> from my, my youthful black hole Days. They grow up so fast. Okay, the, the objects for me to eat are becoming more mobile. Notice they're like running around at this point. I'm not really sure if they're trying to body check me or what. My, whoa, what was that? It was like a fuzzy balloon. Like an angry fuzzy balloon. I kind of want to touch it. Oh, it's not, it's not happy. It tried to murder me. I wanted to make friends with the Martian balloon creature and it tried to kill me. Ow, it tried to murder me again. Stop that. Oh. 
I can eat whatever these are now. They're kind of like uh, molecular pickles. Yeah, that right there, that word. See it? Oh, I am eating all of the pickles. All right, we have leveled up to the the next violent stage of complete and utter dow. No joke, I'm being chased by an angry camouflage sock. Not super happy about it. It's also eating a lot of my food. Oh. I can eat that now. Not really sure if it's important or not, but it doesn't really matter because everything's going to die anyway. Oh yeah, it's like a water balloon filled with delicious, I don't know, maple syrup or something. So sweet, so delicious. I really want to find out what it is that's following me trying to mug me. I'm going to be eating you soon enough, you understand. Oh yeah, the time has come. I've run away long enough, come here. Yeah, that's what you get for betraying me, socks. Now there's a, now there's like a big potato with feet running around. Okay, we have upgraded to the next level now. I can finally start maybe eating the baked potatoes. Although, my, when my baked potato is biting me back, it loses some of its, like, appetizingness. That'd be a great way to, like, not have to eat your vegetables. Like, your parents are like, eat your vegetables. And you're like, Mom, my vegetables just bit me. Come here! Yeah, it doesn't feel so good, does it? Yeah. You tardigrade. That's what you get for being edible. <laughs> Oh, we're into the world, like the visible world now. I'm eating crumbs. That means we're at one millimeter, a word I know. <laughs> Yay. It's like a bunch of computer chips laying around. I don't, I don't know what these are. We got some uh, nuts and bolts, very good. I love that whoever was, I, I think, I can assume it's like a space station or something. Like they're just left all their tools all over the place. I'm really taking good care of this place. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, it's a water droplet. No H2O. The humans can't have anything to regrow their civilization from. Can I eat a nut yet? No. I do love nuts. Okay, I think I've eaten just about all the crumbs. Oh, here's some more. Can I eat the nuts yet? No. I love how the black hole is kind of like captured by the stuff around it. I'm not really sure that that's something a black hole should have to worry about. Oh, I ate my first nut! Oh, it's glorious. Yum, 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 yum. Uh-huh. Okay, drinking some more water. You gotta hydrate, you understand, even as a black hole. Mother black hole is always nagging at me, telling me to drink more water. There you go. Getting more iron in the diet, too. Oh, I ate a capacitor. And a bolt. And a computer chip. Uh, gotta wash that down with some water. Oh, we're starting to be able to eat everything now. Now nothing's gonna get in my way because the black hole is starting to get bigger than everything else. Is that a stick of ram? I got a stick of ram on the side over there. I think it might be like a protein bar. Oh, it is, it's an algae bar. Oh God, that sounds awful. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Garden fresh algae. My favorite flavor. Mmm. Okay, we're in the centimeter area now. That's good. And again, we're gaining size pretty fast here. So can I can I eat an algae bar yet? I really want to know how this tastes. I mean, I may regret saying that, but oh, there we go. I can eat a circuit. But ow, what is that? It's like the the robotic Doge. The robotic Doge is like I haven't had a friend on Mars in like the last 25 days. Please talk to me. No. I'm here to eat all of you and your friends and your algae bars, but I, it's, you weren't really doing anything with them anyway. Space snack. Okay, these these space dogs. Are, oh, here we go. Yeah, robot dog. No, <laughs> he was such a good dog. Twenty-one centimeters. That was a whole bunch of snacks over here in the corner. I don't know why. Oh, it's a human! The humans are like, man, we made such a mess, and now it's all been cleaned up. How did that happen? <laughs> if only you knew. No one's asking where all their robot dogs are going. I just ate, I don't know what that was, like a trash bin? Oh, I just ate a person! Oh, a compressed gas! That was a human being that just got black holed. Oh, boy. There goes all the storage containers and a wall. Just ate, straight up ate the wall. Yep. Starting to get out of hand now, 100%. You should, this is why you don't feed the black holes, people. Meet your hydroponics plants too. Come here, no one's left alive. All the walls, we don't need those. Oh, I think I'm gonna let all the compressed gas out if I eat the airlock. Yep, planter boxes. No plants on Mars. 
I decided I'm eating your lazy boy chairs too. I love how they don't even try to get away from the black hole. They just see it coming and they're like, well, here we go. All right, I'm over a meter in size now. That's good. Get everything on this, uh, kind of like this at the outskirts of what I assume is uh, like a like a little tiny space dome over here. Little living quarters. Oh, there goes the airlock. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> oh no, oh, I made it outside. <laughs> Martian rock. <laughs> all right, there goes all the compressed gas. Oh, there's a rover over here. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. I'll bet there's lots of nutrients inside of the rovers. I hope you guys weren't excavating all this rock because it pretty much belongs to me now. All right, we're at two meters. There goes the outdoor storage containers. I had to get big enough to eat those. There's a lot going on here on Mars. What are all you guys doing? I didn't know there was so much traffic here. All right, there goes those storage containers. Still can't eat the rovers yet. Okay, there it is. Oh, the rovers are getting eaten. Three meters, four meters. I appreciate that all of you rovers obey the speed limit because it makes my job a lot easier. Solar panels, oh no. Oh, wow. Six meters, seven meters, eight meters. Now we're moving right along. Am I gonna start eating the, oh, it's the corridors. Oh, there was no one inside of there. Imagine that, you're in. You're enjoying the beautiful Martian sunrise when all of a sudden a black hole slurps your entire corridor away. Yeah, as it happens, man. All right, 11.5 meters. I still can't eat the main living domes yet, but I think I'm getting to that. Oh, never mind. Martian building. 13 meters. Oh, there's no survivors. Hey, you still like discovering stuff? Was it still a good idea? They're like, no, Gray. It wasn't. We should have stayed on Earth. Oh boy. Now I'm just eating entire Martian neighborhoods. Look at it. We're at 24 meters right now, 25. I can almost eat every single building. Yep, 30 meters. Okay, now these Tootsie Roll looking buildings are edible, that's nice. They went to Mars looking for life, and I mean, I guess they found it, but then I immediately ate it, so I'm not really sure if you want to call that a win or what. Oh, boy. Am I going to be eating, like, Martian mountains and stuff? Like, all the different dunes and... Can you even eat a crater? It's not really, like, something that you would digest. Yeah, we're going to eat it. Yep, whole hill. Just eating the entire hill. Why not? Boop. There. Oh, I'm... I, yep, you do eat the craters. <laughs> I love it. Mars is gonna be so flat and desolate. No hills, no valleys. All right, we are now 304. I am getting like 20 meters at a time. I mean, to be fair, I am eating entire mountainsides, but you know, 600 meters. I'm gonna be a kilometer soon. There it is, full kilometer. I'm not gonna lie, some of these hills are getting really big. Okay, so at this point, we can eat pretty much every hill and crater. Ah, yes. It's a great day when a young black hole eats its, its very first mountain range. Look at it. I'm getting like two kilometers per, per chomp as well. All of the mountain ranges belong to me. Uh, 180 kilometers. Oh my God. Oh, I'm eating uh, the polar cap. There we go. I am so sorry. Now I'm gonna eat all these asteroids. Is that a megameter? Even if it's supposed to be like megometer or megameter, what I like it as megameter more because it sounds, oh, it's Earth. I was gonna say, it just sounds more epic. I can't wait to eat Earth. Oh, I've waited for this day, Earth. First Mars, <laughs> oh God, all right, and Mercury. Oh, then Venus, oh, then Earth, no. <laughs> okay. Hold on, oh, oh, hold on, let me, I gotta grab this asteroid belt here. I need to get a little bit bigger. The sun's looking at me and it's like, don't you dare. There goes Uranus. There goes Neptune. There goes Saturn. There goes Jupiter. Ouch. Ah, the sun is really hot. Ouch. I mean, I know, obviously. There's a lot of things over here that I can't eat. I was able to eat this small star. It was a young star, if you will. The tiny star. Uh-huh. Oh, now I'm starting to eat a lot of stars. A lot of stars are getting eaten. Kind of feel bad about this. There's not going to be that many stars left. I don't know if I ate the sun yet or not, specifically. Gigameter! Okay, I can now eat every single star. It really doesn't matter. Look at that. Bam. Right there. Huge star. Look at this. Oh, that one's still pretty hot. But this one isn't. 
I mean, it's still hot. You would figure it goes down not quite as smooth. Have I, have I eaten all of the stars yet? I feel like I'm running out of stars. There's not gonna be a Goldilocks zone anymore for life to exist because there won't be stars. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I'm getting real big. Uh-huh, 10, 12, 16. Oh, that was a red giant. Oh yeah, I like to put some barbecue sauce on the red giants. Have that with some curly fries. Are those, what is that? Is that, a, is that like an, ow. Is that like an entire nebula? I need to know. But I can't eat it yet. I'm not big enough. I love how the only stars that are left are the red giants. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, it was. It's an entire nebula. I'm eating nebulas. I'm chewing on nebulas like pistachio nuts. Oh, yeah, the purple nebulas. There's the, there's the sour apple nebulas right there. You've got the uh, the black cherry nebulas. Am I now like light years in size? Okay, I've, I've now upgraded even past those sad nebulas to... Is that a space manta ray? Wow. Imagine just living on Earth, you know, having a good time. All of a sudden, your entire existence is wiped away by a random space manta ray. I didn't know it. This is what space manta rays ate. Okay, I can just about eat every single, yeah, eat every single size nebula. So now I'm going to be eating the space manta rays. I feel, oh, oh, it is, it is a space manta ray. I mean, I just came up with that name, but apparently that's what it is. I feel so bad about that, but it's so juicy. <laughs> Listen to the sound. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you ate my, you ate my brother right here. Yeah, you can meet him inside the black hole. Oh, yeah. All the space creatures. I am an equal opportunity destroyer. All right, what, what comes after this? I'm going to run out of existence pretty soon here, you'd figure. Ow, what is that? I don't know what we're about to learn. It is a star cluster. An entire cluster of stars is getting eaten now. I'm a parsec. Don't you run away from me, star cluster. The star clusters have developed minds of their own. They actually have a will to live. That's odd. Oh boy. That's right, existence. The universe isn't big enough for the both of us. I have eaten a lot of star clusters and I'm still getting bigger. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm eating the very edge of the galactic dust. Look at it. All your galactic dust belongs to me. Okay, it's, it's starting to get out of hand now. I'm starting to get to the point where I can just like roll around and I end up getting a lot of galactic Yummy. dust. To eat. Yeah, you see right there? Oh boy. Oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that a kiloparsec? Oh my God. Oh, the elliptical galaxy! I'm eating galaxies! I'm eating spiral galaxies now. Okay, so now almost none of the galaxies are big enough. There we go. I love how it still has that super high-pitched voice. Oh, a galaxy group. Ate an entire galaxy group. Yep. Tastes a lot like potato salad. I can't believe how extreme this goes. Mega parsecs now. Galaxy clusters. Super clusters. I had my, I dined on my very first super cluster. Oh, what is that? <laughs> it's got googly eyes. I love that the giant cosmic destroyer has the googly eyes. Okay, he's eating like super clusters as well. So I'm not the only one destroying life. You see that right there? Slurped it up like a milkshake. Oh, I can eat him. Noodly monster! <laughs> That's what they call it. The noodly monster. All the super clusters. <laughs> Look at how ridiculous this is. Oh, the universe. Oh, another universe. Oh! Remember the beginning of the game? Everything has come back full circle. But what's after this then? Yay! <laughs> All of the universes are gone! <laughs>
<laughs> well, now I don't have to worry about going to work tomorrow because I ate the entire universe. Thank you, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tasty Planet Forever. Till next time, stay foxy. Much love.